Good morning and welcome to St John's Every Day. I'm Pam Coles and I'm reading the message translation of chapter 2 verses 14 and 15 of Philippians. Do everything readily and cheerfully. No bickering, no second guessing allowed. Go out into the world uncorrupted. A breath of fresh air in this squalid and polluted society. Provide people with a glimpse of good living and the living God. Carry the light-giving message into the night. Paul urges the Philippians to do everything readily and cheerfully. In the NIV version, the words are more pointed. No grumbling and no arguing. Some people might say, but surely it was ever thus in both secular and religious contexts. And few of us, I suspect, can honestly say that we have never complained about something or somebody even within the church setup. Previously, we've covered chapter 2, verses 2 to 4, which we do well to reread, as in it, Paul provides a plumb line against which we can measure our own personal relationships. Be like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. If there are issues or discontent within the church as a whole, then Acts 6 gives us one positive example of how to address them. The number of the disciples increased in Jerusalem, but the Greeks complained that the Hebrew widows were being given preferential treatment in the daily distribution of free food. We can imagine the grumbling. But the twelve, being informed, acknowledging there could be a problem, called people together and asked them to choose seven men deacons to be in charge of what was in essence the Jerusalem church's food bank. They were chosen, commissioned and prayed over and everyone was content. In verse 15, Paul calls us to go out into a corrupt world as a breath of fresh air. And as I read the words breath of fresh air, I remembered talking to a neighbour of a member of our church family who had been recently moved into the same housing complex. Yes, I know her, she said. She's such a blessing. She's been such a breath of fresh air to everybody. Our member is disabled and often in great pain. Whoever we are, wherever we are, we can be used of God, whatever our restrictions, whether they're temporary or permanent. Verse 15 says, provide people with a glimpse of good living and the living God. And you know, even glimpses can make people wonder about the source of the care and the goodness. Thank you.